Hello everyone. Welcome to a vlog. Here I am in my favorite corner of the couch to tell you about taste. <sighs> I'm out of breath. How can I be out of breath from sitting down? Oh my gosh, that should be a life sign. It's okay. I'm doing good. I had fruit for lunch. All this to say, hello. It's a vlog. <laughs> gosh, I'm rusty. I feel like I haven't done this a vlog in a while. All right. Well, the weirdest intro later. I am going to be doing a shop with me today, plus a little baby makeover. So we've got a couple of house updates to share with you. So one, we are considering moving. It's something we've just been talking about, we've been thinking about. We really love this house, um, but it's a lot. It's kind of a monster of a house. And we're not sure if it's a house that we want to be in for years and years and years because we're not sure if we want to be in Oklahoma for years and years and years. We just have learned recently, especially with my family's move to New York, that the world is so big and wide and we can do whatever we want. The possibilities are endless. So we've just been thinking about looking for maybe a little bit smaller of a house, a house that's a little easier to maintain, something with a yard that is a lot less groomed than ours. Our yard needs so much maintenance. It's so crazy. And we love this house, but we just look around. I just look around. Eric doesn't care one bit where the heck we live, but I just look around and see so many projects and it's starting to stress me out if I'm being honest. And I don't know if it's like COVID and quarantine and just being here more, but I don't know. So all that to say, we have someone coming to look at the house today. Probably won't work out. We'll see. It's not on the market, anything like that, but who knows what could happen. So I want to or not today. Did I say today? Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm a little scattered? And also you might be able to hear Eric in the background. He's got a marathon recording day today, so he's going to be back there. You won't see him at all. They're coming to look at the house next week just to see if maybe it's something they want to buy. If not, no big deal. We may be here for three more years. We may be here for three more months. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we're just, it's totally up in the air. And um, all that to say, I have a couple of updates I want to show you with the house. We got a rug for the living room, an additional rug. I'll show you in a sec. And I've just got some like little projects like the caulking around the guest bathroom toilet needs to be redone. There's a cabinet in there that needs to be wood glued. It's like a, a fake cabinet face that needs to be re-glued on. Um, the dog room needs a little bit of an update because we are going, we just bought a fancy, um, it's called a Tempo. It's like this at home workout, like full body machine type workouts. It comes with like all the weights you need, all the everything you need, and it'll just be a great way for Eric to get to work out consistently at home. So we have, Eric will have that machine and I have my treadmill that we bought a couple months ago that I love. And so we need a place to put those two things. So I'm doing a little bit of a makeover on the dog room and going to incorporate kind of our workout stuff in there too. So I'm gonna show you that today as we go shopping and look for stuff for it. Plus the dogs just need some new stuff. It's been a while. All that to say, come shop with me. I have like 50,000 errands to run today and I'm gonna take you with me. And then maybe at the end, I will show you our dog room once it's done. I'm not gonna show you the makeover process because it might take me a couple days and I don't wanna film it, so. <laughs> But I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So really quick, we do have one new rug in our living room that I want to show you. So my parents had this rug that they weren't using anymore. And I thought it would be really cool to put in our living room to layer on top of our existing rug or under our existing rug. I mean, to just give the room a little bit more coverage. Our rug is an eight by 10 that we have from Ruggable because that's the biggest size you can buy on Ruggable. And I know I've talked about my Ruggable rugs before that I absolutely love because they're waterproof stain resistant, like pet resistant, and you can literally peel them off and throw them in the washer if something like catastrophic happens to them. They're great for pets, but the only downside to Ruggable is that they only come in eight by 10 as their biggest size. And so that was like barely enough coverage for our living room. And I've been living with it and it's been fine. Like it doesn't look bad, but my parents had this old, I think it's maybe a 12 by 14, really thick, cool, um, jute rug so i'm gonna show you that we put it under and i think it just completes the whole room and makes it look so awesome so let me show you that and then we will get shopping all right so as you can see we've layered the jute rug 
on top of or <laughs> underneath our ruggable rug. So it just kind of makes the space a lot bigger, helps frame it better overall. I just think it's much nicer to look at, much more put together feeling with the layered rug situation. Okay, so let's go shopping. So many errands, I need to get my list, which is on my phone and make sure I'm going all the places I need to go because it's a lot of stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm at my first stop, which is a place that's one of my favorite places ever to shop for home stuff and furniture, art. Um, today I'm looking specifically for a carpet for the dog room, or not a carpet, a rug, um, to layer on top of the carpet in there just to kind of cover up some spots that won't come up. Um, but it's a place I haven't been able to go to since quarantine or since COVID because um, they were closed for a long time and then it was just like, I don't need to go. But now I have a reason to go and I get to go. It is um, a store called Furniture by Consign and Furniture by Consignment. And it's, there's a location in Oklahoma City and a location in Edmond. And it's where people can consign their furniture, but it's all really good quality, like um, really nice brands, high end furniture consignment. And so my dad sold some furniture here before. He buys some of his furniture here. I bought a few pieces in our house or from here. Um, it's just a great little store, decent prices. You can find some really good kind of vintage finds or just like unique pieces. It's like thrifting, but more upscale furniture wise. It's all really great quality and really great condition. So I'm excited to go in for like the first time in like six months, it feels like. So let's go see if we can find a rug. I'm loving this rug right as I walk in. It's super colorful and cute. Look at these chairs. There's two of them. These are like my total perfect chairs. Priced as a set. Oh, they're from West Elm, a freaking course. So cute. Okay, this is why I love this place. Look at this brand new outdoor two set of outdoor chairs. They're really nice. They're priced as a set at $200. And then after a certain date, the price drops even more. It's just like, these are nice, good quality. It's not like Target. And they're so much cheaper than you would find them somewhere else, you know? Too bad I don't need outdoor furniture. All right, I think I struck out here. So headed out, next place, coming up soon. All right, stop number two, Target. Let's go. In we go. First stop. Starbucks. Thank you. Okay, I had to find a quiet spot because Target is freaking hopping today, let me just tell you. So, I got a new drink. I got a pumpkin spice latte, but with um, one pump of chai. Kind of, you know how pumpkin spice lattes just have like a little bit of a cut when you eat, drink them? I never like that, but if you put one pump of chai in it, it totally like mellows it out a bit, makes it a little bit sweeter. So, um, Eric showed me that trick and I freaking love it. So, I didn't know it came with whipped cream though. Hmm. Interesting. So, I'm very much enjoying that. And I have a giant long list today at Target. I anticipate being here for a long time. So, it's gonna be a random, random haul. Uh, mistakes were made. I definitely stopped filming like after my very first clip in Target because it was insane in there, you guys. So it was all I could do to get the things I need and stay away from people. So adding in a camera was just not gonna happen at that point, but I got a rug. $650 later, I think I, I think I got everything I needed at Target. So, Yeah. I'll show you a haul when I get home. Also this PSL with chai is very good. Also, I still have to go to Lowe's and I still have to go to Costco and I still have to go to the bank. So that's good. And I'm exhausted and I'm sweaty 
And do you know what putting an eight by 10 rug in your cart as one human person with no help looks like? Looks pretty funny. I should have videoed myself doing it, dang it. But that was not the priority. Um, also what putting it in your car looks like. When I'm determined to do something, I do it. it doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter how heavy or hard it is. I just freaking do it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a little bit of both. All right, on to Lowe's. And at Lowe's, I only have to get three things. Caulk for the bathroom, a caulking gun, because you wanna hear a funny story about caulking guns? I've needed to caulk something. <laughs> that is the funniest word. I've needed to caulk something like four times in my life. And every time I do it, something happens. I go through a cluttering or a decluttering phase and I'll get rid of the caulk gun because I'll be like, oh, I already did my project. I don't need this. And then like six months down the road, I'll need to caulk something else. And I'll be like, damn it. Why did I throw away that gun? So I'll go and buy a new one. And then I'll do some sort of decluttering and get rid of it again. And then I'll need to caulk again. And you can see how the pattern just continues. So I need to caulk something. And when we moved the most recent time, I threw away our caulking gun. Cause I was like, I'm never going to need this again. I've learned my lesson and whatever gun I buy today at Lowe's, I will not be throwing away. Here we go. Okay, I'm in Lowe's in the potted section because I'm looking at all of the succulents because I have to repot the um, beautiful uh, like long rectangular vase that I have on my dining room table. So I'm getting succulents because they're the only plants that I can keep alive because I don't really have to water them. So I've got a bunch of cool ones. I'll show you when we get home. All right, last actual, <laughs> last actual is what I meant to say. Last actual go inside stop. I just have to go to the bank after this and this Costco trip should be fairly quick. Um, but there are so many cars in this parking lot. It's gonna take all there is in me just to stay freaking away from people, so gonna try to be in and out and quick stay tuned because I think I'm just gonna do a haul at the end of this to show you guys everything I got at all my random places because it turned into quite a bit so yeah here we go okay I got a blender it's only it's on sale for $70 it's a ninja blender um, so I thought that was a really good deal so now Eric is wanting some like sugar-free like sparkling water or something kind of like a LaCroix so I'm looking for him um, something, but I'm not really finding anything, so. Okay, I found this. I'm gonna try it for Eric. And dog food, not exciting, but needed. Uh, look at these amazing vased flowers. Only 20 bucks, like, come on. I got a bit of a haul. <sighs> okay, this has turned into a marathon shopping day and a giant freaking, there's no room in the back of my car haul. Just random haul full of random crap. So uh, I will unload it all when I get home and show you everything. And then at the very end of this video will be the dog room makeover. Stay tuned. I'm so tired. I gotta run through the bank really quick and then go home. This has taken my whole day. It is 5.10. I think I left the house at like 2, 2.30 at the latest. Only thing missing is my mother. She's usually with me when I spend a shite ton of money. <laughs> Okay, bye. You guys, mistakes were made, okay? Mistakes were just made, but you know when you like go so long without just like random stuff and you're always like, oh, I need to get this or oh, I need to get that. It was one of those shopping trips where I just kept remembering things that I needed to get. And of course we're redoing the dog room. So I knew I was gonna spend a little bit of money on that. But then I just kept like remembering all these things we needed. like. Eric desperately needs new jeans and new socks and underwear. So I had to spend, I probably spent about a hundred bucks on all that for him. And what else? Like I've been needing a fan for my treadmill and um, I've been needing to refill the plants on our dining room table. And um, we've been needing a new blender cause our sucks. Like, so it's just like <laughs> a bunch of stuff compounded without further ado. I feel like this is the most like all over the place vlog. But let me show you everything I got. Uh, whoops. This is the 
biggest accidental haul I've, I think I've ever done in my life. This is the most shopping I've done since pre-COVID. So let me start just randomly by pulling something. Um, I got four replacements for the melatonin soak. I love Dr. Teal's Epsom salt and they recently came out with a melatonin version that is like the greatest thing ever in existence. I go through bags of this, okay? And so they had a sale of, I think it was buy three, get one free. So that's what I did. I bought four of them. Worth it. I also bought a Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose cleaner. I don't even know what scent this is. It was literally the last option that they had. I was hoping for one of their actual fall limited edition scents. I don't think this one is it. It might be, but it does not smell folly at all. Oh, look, it says it right in the middle, mum scent. So it is one of their new limited edition of fall scents. I just don't happen to like it that much. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it doesn't smell straight like pumpkin or apple spice or something. It smells like mums, which it still smells really good when I tried it at the store. But like I said, it was my only option for this stuff. And I would have got more of a traditional fall scent if they had had it. I got a new Ninja blender. They were on sale at Costco for $69, $70, I think. We have the world's worst blender and we have been meaning to buy a new blender for so long. And so we saw an ad this week that Costco had the really nice Ninja ones on sale. And so I went ahead and did it and bought one and I'm very happy I did. Um, another random thing that you probably can't see down here on the floor is dog food. Had to buy dog food. I'm not gonna lift that up for you to see because it's heavy. Okay, next, Eric has desperately needed socks and undies. So he got some socks and some undies. Also, he got three new pair of jeans that I hope fit him. I bought the dogs this dog bowl. It's really cute. It says drink up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they've been needing a water bowl for out in the main area so they don't have to only have access to water when they're back in their rooms where their water and food bowls are. So I wanted a water bowl for a long time to put by the back door. And so I also bought a little food bowl mat to put this on just so it doesn't slide all over the place. Okay, next I got the dogs all new leashes. I got totally black because the vibe I'm going for in their room is black, white, gray, a lot more subdued than it currently is. It's currently a lot of like colorful stuff and it's just driving me nuts, like it's too much. So I bought them all black leashes because their leashes hang in their room. I'll show you in their makeover, but I also bought them new um, water and food bowls. These are like really cool 3D kind of modern looking white bowls and they are metal and then ceramic on the outside. So they're not plastic bowls because the plastic bowls we have found out, um, Pippa and Esme both chew the crap out of their bowls until they basically don't have any sides on them and you can barely put any water in them. That's the current situation we're facing and super annoying. So they will not be able to chew these. So I also got Oh my gosh, that's too much hard work. I got this Waterloo sparkling water at Costco just to try because Eric wanted to try some. We've got watermelon flavor, we've got black cherry flavor, and we've got grapefruit flavor. So we have no idea if this is good or not, but we're trying it. Okay. Then I got some potting soil because I'm repotting my dining room vase. I got some new PJs at Costco. This is a um, two-piece set. I got mine in a 2XL because I like them really big. They are long sleeve. They're long sleeve and they have cute like lace detail on the sleeves and the legs. I think they're so cute. So I got a um, gray one for me. And then my mom always comments on my um, Costco PJs and always says she wants some. So I got her some in a pink color that I will mail to her. You're welcome mom, surprise. Okay, then I got a fan for my treadmill when I am running slash walking to clip to my treadmill so that it can blow air on me. <laughs> okay, then I got some dog room stuff. 
I got one, two, three, four pillows for their little bench under the window in there. I think I'm just going to put four pillows across there. I got, okay. Eric and I love this specific blanket from Target. It is a chenille. Is this fabric chenille? Mm, well, it says polyester, but it is the softest, like, ooh, fluffiest, like, cool, temperature-wise cool blanket. It's like the kind of blanket that's super soft and you want to cuddle up with, but it doesn't, like, make you sweat bullets when you're under it. It's, like, very breathable. This is our fourth Target blanket like this. I initially bought a black one that was my literal favorite blanket. I loved it so much. Our dogs um, tore a hole in it one day and so I had to throw it out. And then I went back to Target and I bought a cream one and a muted pink one for our living room because I couldn't find a black color. And so I 1000% did not need this when I found it at Target. I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna do with it, but I found another black one. And since that other black one that I originally bought that got ruined was my very favorite thing ever, I had to have another black one. So I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll put this in the dog room, we'll see. Then I got what I'm hoping is going to be the most amazing invention ever are these crate mats. So let me tell you about the saga of my ding dang dogs and they're ding dang dog beds. So Esme is a little terror child. We love her, we know her. She's a little devil, little demon child, little goblin, as we call her, all those names. And she chews up any bed ever, just any bed. And so we've resorted to um, putting blankets in their crates, big fluffy blankets, but I just think that looks messy. Like, I don't like it. They get them all tangled. Like it's easier for them to get messy with them than regular beds. So I was going to finally experiment now that Esme's older and buy them actual beds and see if she'd get any better about not chewing. But then I found this, which I thought was such a happy medium. So it's a crate mat and it's flat, but it's fluffy and cushy. So they'll be able to lay on it and still, um, you know, be comfy, but it's a lot harder to tear up because there's not actually stuffing inside of it. So I bought three of these. They're in a really cute pattern, little crosses on them or X's, I think. And, um, they go with the total vibe I'm going for for the room. And then I bought this rug. I'm not gonna move it because as we know, it's giant, but I will show you much more in detail what this really cool rug looks like when I get it out in the room. Hopefully it works. Oh, I hope it works because lugging that thing back to Target is gonna be really annoying if it doesn't work. Okay, and then the most random part of my haul. I saw this white queso at Costco and I've, we've never tried it before. We've never seen it there before. And we know Miley loves her queso. Eric loves queso too. And I love white queso, so I grabbed that so fast to try. So I'm very excited to try this and see what it's like. Okay, then I got my caulking gun and my tub and tile caulk to do the toilet around our guest bathroom. I got some wood glue to fix the faux drawer face in our guest bathroom. Our guest bathroom is kind of a hot mess right now, you guys. Okay, and then I found at Costco this vase of flowers. Look how cool this like square vase is. Oh, they smell so good. They're so pretty. This was only $20, you guys. And so I just bought flowers for myself with my own money because look at them, they're so pretty. And oh, I love fresh flowers so stinking much, mostly because I get to throw them away when they die, not feel bad that I killed them because they were gonna die anyway and don't need to be watered or taken care of. They just are enjoyed for a few weeks and then thrown away to buy new ones. That's kind of the mantra of my life. I throw things out all the time. Okay, anyway, then I got all these little baby succulents. I'll just show you one by one what each one looks like to refill my dining room. That one's so cool. It reminds me of like seaweed. It reminds me of like Finding Nemo. This like cactus looking one. Um, these are my favorite kind of succulents. I just think they're pretty. I got two of those to refill my dining room vase, which is like a long uh, rectangular vase. It's really cool. I'll show you if I finish it today. And then that one. And oh, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Now I just have to put all this crap away. 
it's just like the do you see what I'm saying it's like the most random haul and also sorry if you can hear Eric in the background I think I already said but he's they're doing a big recording session today so he is so loud when he does that but yeah so just the most random haul you've ever seen most random haul I've ever seen and you know what it felt great to shop again just like casually peruse of course I wore my mask I stayed six feet away from people when at all possible I hand sanitized like crazy I um I was just really careful but it just felt nice to peruse and I'm just really happy with everything I got so I'm gonna go put it all away and then I'm gonna get started on the dog room so the next time you see me will either be to show you my dining room pot or to show you the dog room completed makeover wow this was like a four hour long shopping trip you guys crazy I have not done this since before COVID feels great <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I've pretty much got the dog room the way I want it, and I think it looks good. It looks just much more relaxed and subdued. I love the rug. It's super soft, and our dogs freaking love it, too, so let me show you. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. We moved the treadmill in here. I love this rug. So stinking cute. I changed out the frames, and please excuse Eric. He's very loudly doing dishes in the background. Changed out the frames to make them black just to go a little better. Cute pillows. I tried to keep black and cream and gray and then the little pops of blue. There's their chair. I carried the little pops of blue over in these prints. And then I got them new leashes with their little cute sign. So I think overall it is super cute. Much better. I like the vibe. My favorite part is still their little portraits. I just think they are so stinking cute. They look exactly like them. Love it. And I love all the different pillows on the window seat. So super cute. I'm so happy with it. It looks great. Love the carpet and it's so soft too. So yay, we're so happy. Okay, now let me show you the lovely succulent work I did. It looks pretty dang good if I do say so myself. So I just filled it with a bunch of different succulents. This one's my favorite. And then I put the moss over the soil. And I just think it's so pretty. It'll sit vertical on the table. Well, not vertical like up, but long ways vertical on this table. Um, I just think it's so pretty and vibrant and green. I love the um, vase or pot or whatever you call the thing that it's in. But I just, I like the asymmetry of it. I like how every succulent is different. I like the mostly green. I think it's cute. After lots of random shopping, spending more money than I would have appreciated spending, I'm done and Dog room's basically done. I still have a few more things to do. Eric just brought the pups in. Um, but I think that's it for this vlog. So Smash that subscribe button. I can't go one vlog without it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed shopping along with me and seeing my kind of accidentally huge haul. Hi, Smash Scott. it. Okay. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.